Did we do a homework just? No, no. Yeah. You're advanced. <laughs> Always Swadhyaya. No, there is no sa swa adhyaya. No, that's fair. Okay. Swadhyaya Pravachanam. And Samasya Swadhyaya Agnanavadi Agni. Agni Hotra. Agni Yascha. Oh, Shamatarvada Agna Yascha. Agna Yascha. Agni Hotra. Agna Yascha and both Agni Hotra are Deva Yagna only. Atiti is Manusha Yagna. Manusha Yagna. Hmm? All the Pancha Maha Yagnas are given. Praja, Prajanascha, Prajatischa, Pitru Yagna. Because you have to. Continue the lineage so that there's a Pitru Yagna going on, right? And of course, Dhamma, uh, Bhuta Yagna is not given. We can add that. All the Panchamaha Yagnas as a Karma Yoga. Tapa, Dhamma, Shama, of course, required. Radham, Sakti. I was looking at page 13 of this book. It's 12. Purnamadaha, that Shanti, Shanti, Shanti is given wrong. That page 12. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. It's, a, it's not correct. All three down. All three under Shas. Shanti, Shanti. All three should be under Shas because it is Yaju. Shukla Yaju, right? You see in uh, Ramakrishna, you see under. Isha was your Panishad or anything, which is Shukla Yurveda. All the Shas are down, right? Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So, this is correct. So, so also is uh, down, Chandraji. Just no. Shah or third? The Shas down. All the Shas down. All and all the th and the first two thirds also. No, no, only for <laughs> Purnamada. <laughs> Not at all, yeah. <laughs> Purnam of the page 12 in the second one. Okay. Hmm? So, Shanti, Shanti. Shan, third one also, third down. One also All down. are Anudhattas. Everything is Anudhatta. So, anytime Purnam of the same thing. Right? Yes, yes. Right. Huh? All this. Down. The T, T, and then the last T is Swarita. Others, right? Other ones. Should not be Swarita, but it is. All Anudatta, sorry, under Shah. Hmm. That is because it is Krishna Yajurveda. It is Shukla. Hmm. All this is Krishna, Shukla Yajurveda. That one only. Yes. Ishavasya is Shukla Yajurveda. That's why in Ishavasya Upanishad page, you see that starting mantra. So it comes as Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hmm. Yes. So that would be our next topic. Once we finish the Aitra Upanishad. Yeah, very few Upanishads have Swaras. One of them is the Aitriya is popular. Isha is okay. As also, it also has Swaras, actually. <laughs> I thought you are setting questions for the next chapter <laughs> after this. Yeah. Isha sounds uh, simple, but it's very complex actually. The, word, the meanings are mostly different. <laughs> Oh, correct. <laughs> oh, no, T also should have Anudatta, no. right? Chandra no, no. Only no? Sh only Shah. And last star will. I think it's in my mission book. Not correct. Shah. 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 
reading also right this one is simple only right most of them are same the one that we chanted the last one so only that va swarita ne anudatta right and then finally swadhya and pravachana has been declared as the greatest tapas in this highlighting that is highlighted in this particular context because Because how will we know that is something called moksha purushartha? If you don't do <laughs> shastra, de. otherwise we are stuck in dharma, artha, kama only. Of course, dharma also it teaches. Omiti Brahma, Omiti Dagam. You have a good uh, Vandanaji, you got that? You are not there, right? No, I didn't just do that. Otherwise, also I struggle, but do that. Haven't oh, me think. I didn't learn at all. Oh, you didn't. Okay. I was in there. You were there, and you were you were there, right? Yeah, I was there. Only I was last uh, in this part. Yeah, Prasamisha, I was not there, but it is an easy thing. It's good. Yeah. Lakshmi, you got this. Oh, me think Brahma, you are not right. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, me te Brahma. Oh, me te Brahma. Oh, me te Brahma. Ah, again, what is the correction there? <laughs> oh, me te Brahma. Ah, oh, me te Brahma. Ah, right. Oh, me te Brahma. శంకరశ నాట్ సరస్వతి సార్ 
so all good right maybe you have to practice for that yeah. this you practice ritanchas swadhyaya you practice this i practice do it once ऋतम च स्वाध्याय प्रवचने नो स्वर राइट ऋतम च स्वाध्याय प्रवचने सत्यम स्वाध्याय प्रवचने स्वाध्याय प्रवचने स्वाध्याय स्वाध्याय प्रवचने स्वाध्याय प्रवचने फर्स्ट वन की साल है तू ओनली सेकंड वन
the last line of I heard no pause there when you were chanting. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. So next one is. Pramagnya Prakash Kamantra. Atma Vidya Prakash Kamantra. So called. It is sandwiched. Even though it is Brahmagnana Prakashaka, it is in Shikshavali. It is sandwiched between the Swadhyaya Prabhamsha, which is a Karma Yoga, and also Shishanujasram, which is Karma Yoga. So then, what is the status of that? But <laughs> it is also for Chapa. It is not for Nididhyasanam. And even though it is the declaration of the, the state of this Dani after his realization, but here it is given in the Karma Kanda portion. Karma Kanda, if, even though it is a Upanishad, it is a preparatory portion, but not a Karma Kanda. Upanishad also has preparatory portion. Right? The first chapter is all preparation. We have seen five Upasanas and now come, he has come to Karma Yoga part. But then it is sandwiched between these two last two, which is also can be taken as, as a preparatory instead of Nididhyasanam. You can take it as a preparation as a Japa. Japa. Japa sir. Uh, yes, is that also given as a Japa. Which okay. also means the one previous also is the... For Karma Yoga, of course. Okay. Right. Of course, earlier we have seen, right? Which one? Ah, yes, Chandasa. That is also for Japa. That is for Jnana Yogyata. And this one is for Jnana Prapti. If you want to accelerate your spiritual journey, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, your responsibilities are pretty much done. <laughs> then, yes. Can use this japa good nana property. Let's see. Aham brukshasya reva. Girti prushtang gire reva. Girti prushtang gire reva. Because Prishtam and then Ga Prishtam Giri Riva. Prishtam also is optionally fine, but use yeah. Prishtam Giri Riva. Kirti Prishtam Giri Riva. Kirti Prishtam Giri Riva. Kirti Prishtam Giri Riva. Urdvapavitro. 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 Tro vajini vasvamruta masmi. Vajini vasvamruta masmi. Dravina gum. Savarchasam. Dravina gum savar chasam. Sumedha amruto chitaha. Sumedha 
ಇಂಕೋರ್ವೇದಾನುವಚನಂ ಅಹಂ ವೃಕ್ಷಸ್ಯರೇರಿವೀರ್ತಿ ಪೃಷ್ಟಂಗಿರೇರಿವ ಊರ್ಧ್ವಪವಿತ್ರೋ ವಾಜಿನೀವಸ್ವಮೃತಮಸ್ಮಿ ದ್ರವಿಡಗಂಸವರ್ಚಸಮೇಧಾಮೃತೋಕ್ಷಿ ಇಂಕೋರ್ವೇದಾನುವಚನ So, how many padas we have? Four, five, right? Aham Vrikshasare Riva. Very simple. You can memorize and do it in your nitya after your puja. <laughs> A few times. So, Aham Vrikshasare Riva. Kirti Prishtangare Riva. Gare Riva. Even though at the end, we usually uh, elongate that even though it is a rasva, the second one kirti prushtangire riva i didn't space deliberately didn't do it because just to distinguish that re riva gire riva like the peak of the mountain my glory is right kirti prushtangire iva but re riva is a vedic usage first one aham rukshasya re riva that is a activator or of the samsara vruksha i am the activator nobody else <laughs> i am it is my glory urdha pavitro vajini vasamrutam asmi third one three lines dravidagam savarchasam fourth pada sumeda amrutokshita five just five padas iti trishankor vedan vachanam is not part of the mantra that is what is said by the trishankur rushi is what the mantra bhaga is only five that is a brahmana bhaga iti trisham brahmana bhaga is what it tells us what to do what is a prayoga vini yoga etc right so the mantra bhaga is only five it's nice you can remember memorize it so very nice sadhana if you want to move, give it more formal uh, you can also say like what we do for gayatri savitriya rushi vishwamitra nichit gayatri chanda savita devata right we all say that and then vinyoga also we say that agnir mukam brahma shiro rudrashika all that we say finally we say pancha shirsho panayane vinyoga we say upanayane vinyoga we say but here also we say you can say what is the vinyoga you can say ah aham vrukshasya reriva iti mantrasya rishi ಶಂಕು ಚಂದ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಚಂದಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಚಾಂಡ್ ದ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ನಿಶ್ರುತ್ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಚಂದಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಚಂದ ಇಸ್ ಪಂಕ್ತಿ ಪಾಂಕ್ತಮ್ ಯು ಸೀನ್ ರೈಟರ್ ಪಂಕ್ತಿ ಚಂದ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫೈ ಪಂಕ್ತಿ ಚಂದ ಋಷಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರಿಶಂಕರ್ಷಿ ಅಹಂ ವೃಕ್ಷಸ್ಯ ರೇರಿವಾ 
ृष्टम इज ऑलो ऑप्शनल योके पृष्टंग लाइक सहना सहना सह वीर सह वीर कीर्ति कीर्ति फॉलोड बाय कीर्ति पृष्टंगिरेवाजिनी सुमेधा अमृतोक्षि ृषंगिरेवाजिनी ृष्टंगिरेवा कीर्तिपृष्टिवाजिनी स्वृतमस्मी द्रविनगुंस वर्चस सुमेधा अमृतोक्षि तृशंकोर्वेदाचन Yes. Next. So basically, you're saying I am the jagat karana. Okay. I'm not a small individual. Like if I'm thinking I am a papi or a dasa of somebody, I am. I am that. I'm saying that. Right? So there is nice mantras for nidhyasana. Right? You see another. Upanishads, uh, even Prakrana Granta is also seen. Like, even saying Nara Yanoham. Do you remember that? In Viveka Chudam comes Nara Yanoham, Narakan Takoham. I am Nara Hena. I am Narakan Takhane. I am Pura Puran Takoham, Purusho Havisha. And you see that. So some mantras can be used for Nididhyasana for meditation. Okay, let's read. So, ah, uh, I'll read the meaning. I am the stimulator in the tree of the universe. The reriva, you. The meaning is stimulator. Is my fame, glory. That is kirti. Is I has the peaks of the mountains. Prushtangire eva. High and pure am I, like the essence in the sun. Vaji. is the sun vajini iva hmm? right. ah 
I am the power and the wealth, effulgent with intuition. Dravinagam Savarchasam. Sumedha intelligence. Intelligence, intelligent, imperishable, and undecaying am I. Amrutaha Akshita. Amrutu Akshita. This is the sacred recitation of Trishanku after he realized the truth. Iti Trishanku Vedavan Vachan. Yeah, continue. This section has no direct bearing with what had preceded, and also, as we shall find, no intimate bearing with what is to come. Shankaracharya very intelligently interprets this section as a mantra for recitation just before the daily reading of scriptures, Swadhyaya, which had been insisted upon 12 times in the previous section. This repeated insistence in the last section of both the study and the dissemination of the knowledge is termed by Shankaracharya as Brahma Yajna. 12 times means where? Ah, Pravachana Yajna. Since the study of the Vedas is to be pursued by everyone all through one's life, and since the students are going out into the world, commissioned to live as healthy social beings, they are soon to enter the householder's tribulations. Tossed by the daily, daily circumstances of life, no individual human being can maintain his mental equipoise in life, which is so necessary for the study of the highly philosophical literature without some special exercises in mental recognition. One more paragraph. Ah, as students, they can easily be kept in such an atmosphere which they can maintain this required inner voice Later on, too, at the time of their retirement, the individuals can teach themselves to be in the same steady mental voice. But in the surging period of youth, chaotic with chaotic, chaotic with its physical appetites, mental commotions, and <coughs> intellectual ambitions. When the individual is fighting his lonely war in the field of life against a force of threatening circumstances, he will not ordinarily find that cool and calm spring season with him. In, in order that such a shattered mind be effectually brought to the seat of study daily, the rishis of this scriptures had to find some secret method by which an individual devotee should discover in himself the necessary conditions for a profitable <coughs> study. This mantra now under discussion is, according to Shankaracharya, a formula for repetition to be used by the householder before he starts his daily study of the scriptures. When we are introduced to the depths of the significances of these words, we shall easily understand how an individual, when with sincerity, faith, and understanding repeats this stanza, can come to feel himself immediately wafted from his disturbing present into serener heights of a calm and Calm and tranquil divine. Mm. Good. This mantra, therefore, tunes up the students every day by bringing out the song of the soul from the heart of the heart. The words here are the uh, explosions of an unknown Rishi, uh, Trishanku by name, and his self discovery. The word on his self discovery. On his self. Ah, his on his ah. The words that express thoughts at the heights of their inspiration do not merely convey their literary meaning. It, I mean, even in ordinary life, it is evident from many passages in dramas uh, when they come to the crisis. Crisis. Here also we find that the words in themselves do not 
by their uh, dictionary meaning convey the whole in mm -hmm. import. Again, since we have now drifted away from the vast oceans of the resplendent Hindu culture to the straits of secularism and sectarian prejudices, we cannot understand very easily the implications of these words which have the flavor of the Vaidika tradition. There is nothing strange about it. If the great rishis were to come down and move with us now, they too may not find it easy when we talk to them in our language and familiar expressions. Expressions like autumn bomb with the resolution <laughs> or shell with arguments or met at tea <laughs> and so on would be confusing enough for them since they are uninitiated into the significance of autumn bombed or shelled or at tea. Similarly here, when we are reading some expressions of the rishis which were at the time, very familiar to the students, we generally stand confused and lost. Oh. Oh, it's a big girl. Okay. Continue. I am the stimulator of the tree. If this be, according to Hinduism, the divine self-realization of the great sage, then surely there will be none uh, surely there will be none here who would pride himself at being a Hindu. Mm -hmm. For to be a stimulator of a tree is not quite satisfactory for us, even if we are extremely imaginative. This confusion arises from our incapacity to understand what exactly is the connotation meant by the teachers when they use the term tree. It is such expressions in our scriptures that confuse the West and confound the products of the West who have reached here to live in the East. We should certainly sympathize with them. They are disgustingly too low to deserve our hatred. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? So, Ruksha has many meanings, right? Continue. When we get more and more acquainted with the entire Vaidika literature, the scriptural uh, connotation in which the term tree is used becomes clear. It is the tradition of Hindu thought from the early days of the Vedas to consider the entire uni universe in the form of a tree. Not only in the Vedas, but we find the same tradition of referring to this universal symbol, both in its erect and inverted position in a Buddhistic no, Gnostic, Hermetic, Christian, and Islamic religious books also. The Maitre Upanishad speaks of one Ashwatha tree identified with the Om. The Rigveda asks, What is that tree out of which heaven and earth are fashioned? In Mundaka Upanishad, again, there is, a, there is a picture of a tree, of the tree referred to. In the Mahabharata, in its uh, Ashwatthama Parva, we find a full description of the Brahma Vriksha. In Vishnu Sahasranama, tree is counted as one of the names of the Supreme Lord. Mm. You know, Varuno, Varuno, Vriksha, right? Oh. Mm. Mm. In the later li literature, the conception changed, and we find the same tree standing inverted, representing the entire finite world of plural, plurality. The Kathopanishad conceives it, uh, Shvetashvetaropanishad refers to it, and in the Gita, we find an exhaustive uh, description of it. Which chapter? Purushvetamandam. Uh, okay. 15 chapter. Uh, Urdhamula. 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 Kata Katopanishad. Yeshu Shvattas Sanatanaha. Same thing or Gita. So that is the tree we are referring to. Samsara Vruksha. I am the basically saying I am the activator of this Samsara Vruksha. We are saying because I am saying I am the Karanam of everything. Even though Samsara is a Mithya 
little dream. Without the waker, there is no dream. Isn't it? Like that. <laughs> Mithya dream cannot exist without me, the waker. Isn't it? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See here, Vishnu is the Vriksha, right? And um, Vishnu the Nama. Nama. Yeah. So, so basically we are referring to Vishnu as Vriksha. Hmm. And why are you equating that one to Samsara? Vishnu is not Samsara. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a Samsara Vriksha we are talking about here. I am the stimulator. Saying, right? So, yes. There, Vriksha means the Karanam. There, the roots are up above Urdva Moolam. Urdva hmm. So, in that sense, the Karanam is Vishnu. Yes. The Vriksha that we see, the branches, the Samsara Vriksham, the jivas living on the branches, the birds living on the branches, they are all we, all, all mithya prapancha. But even for that mithya prapancha, the karanam is what Vishnu, which is me only I am saying in this. After we realize, after the self-discovery, I am the karanam brahma, I am saying, the roots, up above. Up above means what? Urdvam ulam is a karanam brahma. Okay, I don't understand. Even though we say Vishnu Nama is Vriksha, it is we take that Vriksha in the meaning of Karana. Karana, okay. Not that which may cut down. Vrishch Dhatu, it comes from Vrishch. That can be cut down. Right? But then we don't cut down the Karana cannot be cut down. In that sense, Karana Brahma. But then the Samsara Vriksha can be cut down by knowledge. Why Vairagya? Asanga Shastra Drudena Chitva. So it's, it's, it's like Jagat and Samsara, right? He is the uh, Karana so for the Jagat, but uh, the Samsara is Jivas. So he is the uh, Jiva is, is the Samsara. root of it, not the Karana of it. Is not, is the root is only Karana. Up above, we say, in the, in the sense, up above. Mm. From there it starts. From above. Even for that mithya, samsara, viksha, there has to be a car. Like as a dream. The car name is me. Satya was to mithya dharma. Dream for mithya. The car has to be satya. Yeah. The substratum, yes. Hmm. The base is always base is always, always satyam. I am seeing as sattva, which is mithya. But then even for that seen sarpam, base is still adhisthanam is still. Rupa. <laughs> oh, can you mean your country? All right. Now. The, the finite world of plurality is conceived as an uh, Ashwatha tree because a Banyan tree can be considered, cons considered relatively immortal due to its long life. Again, there is no single tree which can be otherwise quoted, which has such a large number of branches and leaves, which are ever in a state of agitation with so many ad, uh, advent, adventitious roots flowing out of its branches to embrace the mother earth and make its shady grounds a thousand pillared hall of noisy confusion. The very name of the tree Ashwatha also has in the construction of its nomenclature a meaning well suited for, uh, well suited for the purpose. Uh, swa means tomorrow. Tha means existence. Shvatha means therefore that which exists tomorrow also. When the negative sense uh, A is prefixed, it becomes Ashvatha, meaning that which will not exist tomorrow, that which is finite. Hmm. That which is not. Hmm. The samsara will not exist tomorrow after the gnanam, right? Gnane vadyate. 
tomorrow or next week second year. also it will not exist if you are nano nano party there is a big gift condition there right? hmm. this tree of universe representing in itself the entire world of objects is vitalized by the eternal all pervading consciousness which is the goal of rishis struggling on the path of self realization rishi trishanku was successful in rediscovering himself to be the spiritual perfection and the passage now under discussion is a song of ecstasy and joy that gurgled out from the blissful experience of this god man mm. he is here struggling to stammer out in words the divine inspiration that he has lived in in his moment of realization and therefore we find that the mantra does not read as a statement of fact the main words broken and hesitating though literally they express nothing in their voiceless significances indicate an ocean of an extremely subjective experience he cries i the pure self the conscious principle the infinite reality is the stimulator in the entire tree of universe i am the sap of life wherever it is manifest from the lowest to the highest just completely but necessarily therefore my glory is as high as the peaks of the mountains in as much as wherever there is this very there is the thrilling glow of pulsating life felt it is only the throb of my glory it is the song of my fame in effect says the great rishi kirti prishtam gire iva so vibhuti all lords vibhutis are my vibhutis he is identifying with that right after that realization which we all we all should do that's why for us it is now japa asa so that we can identify with the satya vastu can you pray us the conscious life spark within ourselves or the purity of the individual concern is untouched by animalism since awareness as such is only the illuminating oh, principle presiding just by animalism since awareness as such like that you think that we have to do i think there is no comma after animal uh, that's huh. by animalism since awareness uh, animalism as... will stop i mean comma oh since okay. awareness as okay. such is uh, like that isn't it is that what correct Good. yeah yeah mm. concerned it untouched but yeah since uh-huh. awareness as such is only the illuminating principle presiding within the being good and bad sin and virtue are conditions of the mind and the qualities of the thoughts the consciousness that illumines these conditions or qualities within ourselves should certainly be untouched by and separate from these objects illuminated for it is a law in nature that the illuminator is always separate from the illuminated hmm. to so god that the sun got the meaning of that yeah. illuminator and the two separate they are not one and the same is what they say so you know we are coming to the consciousness this right this body is conscious but borrowing the consciousness from is conscious which is borrowing the consciousness from where from me on atma i am qualities i am giving that's why i am can claim i am that i am lending my consciousness to the thought also to the mind to the anger thought also to the <laughs> anxious thought also so i am not that thought hey i am not that i am not anger that separation to begin with yes so good that's what is saying right i am not this untouched asanga right the consciousness that illumines these conditions all the conditions whether it is the body whether it is a thought good bad right within ourselves should be certainly be untouched by and separate from the objects illuminated got that sorry something to think but it is law in the nature the illuminator is always separate from the illuminated 
that's why we say going beyond we say beyond bmi means what <laughs> there is nothing to go beyond <laughs> you know, in meditation lo we have to sit and then go beyond nothing like that here i am not asanga be going beyond is what untouched asanga i am not touched by all the conditions of this body the sickness of the body or even the the conditions of the thought the mind i am sat i give sat chit anand to provide to all this world he saying which we everyone of us should say so why this three names sat chit anand you know why three what is sat chit anand ಸಾರಿ ಚಂದ್ರಜಿ ಪಂಚಕೋಶಾತೀತ ಸನ್ ಪಂಚಕೋತೀತ ಸನ್ ಅವಸ್ಥಾತ್ರಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಸಚ್ಚಿದ್ರೂಪಿ that conscious we are conscious isn't it chit this is called chit sukshma sharir drishtya jada prapancha drishtya sat existence existence it's existing isness the wall is everything is everything is so chit means aparokshatva sittartam what is it then aparokshatva means self evident i am that's why it's called chit aparoksha it is not somewhere aparoksha paroksha ante ikkado somewhere pratyaksha ante here i can see this is pratyaksha it is neither pratyaksha nor paroksha what it is aparoksha means i self evident nenu are you here self evident <laughs> let me think am i here or you don't see right that is called chit because of chit aparokshatva siddhartha chit from that stand point of sukshma oh if it is aparoksha it is here oh it means it is not somewhere in the stars this rutta or whatever you are talking is not somewhere there it's everywhere everywhere that is why sat chit sat so that is if you think we are is it limited to only living beings this brahman this truth no aparichinnatva sityat aparichinnatva means limitation parichinna means limitation aparichinnatva siddhartham sat so the different three names of the same truth sat chit ananda from the stand point of the all the happy living beings ananda <laughs> so sat chit ananda right so from these stand points three names sat chit ananda but one truth hmm? ah continue sorry it's a little diverse right or we will do the next, uh, last uh, anuvaka vedam anuchya but then i don't think we can do it because the reading itself is going on uh, the sun's rays may bless both a crime perpetrated and a divine ritualism performed it may illuminate at once felt at one end and a pan of rose water at another place the illuminator the sun being separate from these objects none of them could condition the light or the source of the light the sun similarly conscious illum consciousness illuminate 
consciousness illuminates the condition of mind of the individual, whether good or bad, the light's path in itself is ever the divine, the perfect and the blissful. It is, it is in no way conditioned by the qualities or the textures of the passing thoughts or the entertained ideas. Mm. Therefore, the great saint who comes to rediscover in himself that he is none but this divine center in his real nature and thereby experiences himself to be the heart of the universe, cries from the balcony of his own experience, pure am I, like the essence in the sun. Mm. So, what is it? Pure am I like the essence in the sun? Pavitra, Urdhva Pavitram. Mm? The purest of the pure. I am not a a small individual with all these inferiority, superiority complexes. I am not a sinner. I am Urdhva Pavitra, purest of the Vajini Iva Swa Amruta Masmi. Vaji, Sasan. Va, va, vajam means food actually. Vajam. But that is the cause of the food. Sun only. So Vajini Iva. Swa Amruta Masmi. Okay, uh, the skeptic cannot and will not understand the benefits accrued by such a self-realization since to him life without contentions is profitless. There are people amidst us according to whom life has a meaning and a purpose only so long as we have a fair chance of reaping our moans of the morning hours, hated thoughts of the midday hours and chances of fighting tooth and nail all through the evenings. They cannot appreciate nor can they live the quieter joys of the pregnant moments of peace and tranquility of the inner poetry or of listening to the wobbling notes of joy and cheer that gurgle out from the bosom that is at rest, is at rest from a soul that is at peace with itself. Mm -hmm. right. As an answer to such gross creator, creatures, who may suspect the futility of this consummation of evolution, Ishanko declares, I am the power and the wealth. Ordinarily, in life, man is constantly struggling to acquire wealth. Having become wealthy, we find that a rich man is not contented until, unless he can purchase power with his wealth. Understanding this fundamental weakness in man, Ishanko rightly declares that to know ourselves, to complete our greatest discovery, to realize our divine nature, to live as a god in ourselves, is the only harbor wherein the frail mind shall no more be exposed to the storms of contentions and the surging waves of desires for wealth or temptations for power. To realize and live as the vitalizer behind the tree of the entire universe is to realize at once the wealth, power, joy, and perfection that is enjoyed and experienced by every living creature at all times, past, present, and future, and at all places, all at once. Mm -hmm. Dravinagam Savarchasam, mm -hmm. that for that, Dravinagam. Mm -hmm. but... Let's finish this. Few more minutes, we'll take and finish. Okay. Intelligent, imperishable, undecaying am I. This is the final explosive expression by which the choking experience in the bosom of the great Rishi seems to burst out, expressing his labored bliss of perfection. In order to show this infinite, since language has no sway in the realm, all that the prophet or the saint can do is, as it were, to stand at, at the frontiers of the finite and with pointing finger indicate the infinite in the language of contrast. To every one of us, the finite alone is the land of our known experiences. We all know that the finite world of matter is inert, perishable, and decaying, and therefore, using opposite words such as intelligent, imperishable, and undecaying, Vishanku is helping to convey to us the otherness of the infinite from what we know and experience in ourselves at present in our egocentric misunderstanding. 
to remember thus our real nature as lived and experienced by Prashanku is the most efficacious technique of the turning ourselves to the highest purity and the greatest sense of the detachment from our false enemy. When an individual recites this mantra daily with sincerity, faith and conviction, it is evident that he will gain a sufficient amount of inward poise and tranquility, which are surely necessary for a profitable study of the scriptures daily. Good. Perfect time. Right. <laughs> So for Jnana Prapti, yeah? use it as a japa. Once we have become Jnanis, then but till that time, to the flame to arrive, we need more, so many things, right? But the flame to arrive, <laughs> but the, is the flame dependent? Hmm? Is a flame. To remove the darkness, it is not dependent. Once it arrived, it for the arrival, it required the the wick, the oil. But once it arrives, to remove the darkness, it is not dependent on anything. So, for Jnana Yogyata, we require this preparation, right? Karma Yoga, Pasana, and also sometimes the Japa of these mantras. Right? Any questions? Fine. Good. In the orchid. <laughs> Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Makas Chittukka Bhag Bhavet Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyade Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Tatsati Next is Snatagotsava. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <The> convocation. <laughs>